it's a lady in London here. Today I'm on a day trip to Lewis, which is in East Sussex, not far from Brighton, but it's a hidden gem not many people know about. It's worth a visit though for its beautiful streets, historic castle, and much more. I can't wait to take you around and show you the highlights. Lewis is an easy day trip from London. The train journey takes just over an hour and you can get good deals on tickets if you book in advance. For me, the best thing to do in Lewis is explore the streets. This town is packed with history and beautiful heritage houses and facades. There are Twittons, which are little historic streets, and high streets packed with shops. There are pubs dotted throughout, and there's just a lot to see here. Another great thing to do in Lewis is explore the castle and the adjacent museum. The castle dates back to Norman times and there are great views from its towers. Lewis is hilly, so there are lots of great views to be seen from different points around the town. From countryside to rolling hills and town landscapes, 
There is a lot to love about the views here. Another great thing to do is visit the Anne of Cleves house. This house was given to Henry VIII's wife as a part of her divorce settlement, and it's a beautiful example of heritage architecture. Seeing Bull House is another great thing to do in Lewis. Thomas Paine, who wrote Common Sense and other political pamphlets that inspired the American Revolution, lived here. The Roundhouse is another highlight in Lewis. This is an old windmill that was converted into a house, and Virginia Woolf bought it in 1919. Fitzroy House is another beauty. It was designed by Sir George Gilbert Scott, who also designed the hotel by St. Pancras Station in London. The Southover Grange Gardens are worth a visit too. Their flower beds are beautiful with seasonal blooms, and there are great views from here too. Lewis has a lot of good shops to explore as well, from home goods to antiques and all kinds of other things. There's no shortage of shops to keep you entertained. There are some great bookshops too, if that's your thing. When it comes to places to eat, Bill's is the most famous place in Lewis. This is the original of the chain that's now taken over a lot of the UK, but there are lots of independent places as well. Lewis has some great historic and independent pubs as well. One of the most famous is the Lewis Arms. It's got atmospheric rooms and serves real ales, but there are lots of others throughout the town too. And speaking of beer, Harvey's is a historic brewery in town. It has a shop where you can pick up some of the local goods too. 
Seeing the ruins of Lewis Priory is another of the best things to do in town. This historic priory was dissolved during Henry VIII's reign, but there's a lot to see here and there's good paths with way markers telling you about the priory and its history. Lewis has lots of markets to explore as well, from indoor to outdoor. There are lots of country walks you can take in the South Downs around Lewis. From circular walks to point-to-point -point walks, there's no shortage of options. Lewis is perhaps best known for its bonfire night celebrations every year on November 5th. The whole town comes alive with them. There are great hotels in Lewis too, many of which have historic roots. They're great places to stay if you want to extend your time in town. Whether you stay for a day, a night or longer, it's an easy journey back to London or wherever else you're going in the UK. Thanks for coming around Lewis with me. I hope you had a good time and I hope it's inspired you to visit this town yourself someday. As always, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy travels.